Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of AV Astronomy. This evening, going off the beaten path a little bit here, and we're going to be talking about pinched optics, and particularly with reflector telescopes, Newtonians, Maxitov Newtonians, and how this affects optical performance, what to look for, and how to correct it. So without any further delay, let's go take care of that. tonight's video, we're going to be doing this on the David H. Levy Comet Hunter Maxutov Newtonian Telescope. For tonight's video, you're going to need the following tools. Masking tape, canned air, nitrile or latex gloves, a screwdriver, Phillips or flathead, depending on your system, Allen key wrenches, and a Sharpie. All right, first things first, we're gonna glove up. And then what we're gonna do before we get started on this, we're gonna mark the location of this mirror. And we're gonna do that using masking tape. Okay, the reason this is important is because this primary mirror has been aligned by the manufacturer in a certain way we want to make sure we return that to the same position as it was by the manufacturer. So I use three pieces of tape. Okay, one on the top, one on this side, and then one on the other side over here. And you do this to ensure that you're going to be aligning it properly when you put it back on. Make sure that tape's good and designate your numbers one. One, two, two, and then three, three, okay? All right, now that we've done that, we're just gonna kind of break that seal on those. You can use the screwdriver carefully there. Don't wanna scratch the scope, but just gently press the tape to break that seal. Okay, press that down. Okay, step number two. Now we can start loosening these Allen key bolts here. Okay, a little bit, one by one each time, just a little bit, just to get them loosened. And tilt this to get this side. And you're going to keep doing this just a little bit each time. To remove them. Replace them. They have a little washer on them. They may have a little washer on them. This one does. So if you're doing this on a Newtonian, you may not have Allen keys. It may be, you know, with a Phillips or flathead. You're going to have to assess that. But the same basic principle applies here. Now, I would not do this on a rigid Cratian or corrected Dahl Kirkham or any other specialized optical system as there's a little more involved there and you may end up causing more trouble than it's worth. Now, if you're inclined to do so, do it at your own risk, but this is, this is relatively safe really with most Newtonian and Max and Tom Newtonian designs. We're getting there. And the reason why we're doing this, I know I mentioned it a little early about the pinched optics. You may be wondering what is pinched optics? If you've ever noticed in your images something like this, that is pinched optics. And 
It can look like a collimation error because that's what I thought it was for the longest time, but come to find it was actually the primary mirror had been t over tightened from the factory. And the only way I was gonna fix these aberrations and these weird diffraction spikes I was getting on these images was to correct this pinched optic problem. So if you've seen something like these, uh, weird diffraction spikes or weirdly shaped stars, it may not be a collimation error. It may very well be, if you have a Newtonian or Max Newton Newtonian, uh, it may be pinched optics. So that's why I thought it was a good idea to go over this as there's not a whole lot of instruction online on how to address this and what to do to fix it for these type of optical systems. This last one is just being a turd. There it is this way. We're getting down to it. Might be easier to get on the other side. Needless to say, you're going to need to collimate this scope again once you uh, get everything put back together. Okay, now that we have removed all of the screws holding the mirror cell, we're going to gently pull this off, okay? It'll take a little bit of a snug tug here, but you want to just, a little bit of force, gently pull that off, and you'll feel it start to give. cell removed. Put this aside. And here we are guys. This is my primary mirror of a Maxitov Newtonian. Not much dust on it, but we're going to give it a, a spray anyway. When you use this, always keep it level and just gentle puffs. I'll probably do this one more time before I put it back in, but here's the important part. So when these come out of the factory, a lot of times they will just tighten the stew out of them just to make sure these clasps here are holding that mirror down firmly. But the problem with that is if it's over tightened, it'll slightly distort the mirror and cause those weird aberrations, oddly shaped stars or weird diffraction spikes in your images. So the way we fix that is you loosen one up, these up one at a time and you'll see, you'll see this clasp move. You'll see it come up and rise. And what you're looking for is you just want to tighten this so that is literally just tightened. I mean, just tightened. You don't want to over tighten at all on this. Loosen it. See it come up a little and just tighten. And you're going to do that for all of these. Loosen it. Just tighten. I know the first time I did this, it's, it's pretty much corrected now. I'm just making a minor adjustment that was a little tight. There we go. When I first did this, these suckers were so tight, and they shouldn't be, but they, it was causing a serious pinched optics issue. And that's it. Some people say, you know, put a business card or credit card underneath each one. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't want to play around risking uh, scratching up this mirror to do that. I don't think it's necessary. You'll know if it's over tightened. If you're having to really torque this thing to loosen it up, it's been over tightened. Loosen it to where it's really not tight at all. And then just tighten it just enough to where this just grabs. And do that for each of the screws and you're good. And that's it. So final step here, we're going to give this one more huff and puff. 
and we're gonna put this back on. Now we're gonna to refer to our tape marks to make sure this is aligned properly. Now you might say, well, don't the screw holes align this? Uh, yes, but if you don't, if you don't put tape marks, you may, you know, orient it in another way that it doesn't match up the way it was originally configured. So now we're just going to put these back on one by one. Make sure this is seated well. It is. And that is really about it. Now, like I said, you're going to want to collimate this. And if you're not sure how to collimate a Newtonian or Maxiton Newtonian, please check out my other video here. Um, I go over in detail from start to finish how to collimate a Maxiton Newtonian. And a lot of what I talk about, aside from the corrector plate, also applies to Newtonian telescopes. So should be very useful for you. So let's just get the rest of these screwed back on one by one and don't fully tighten them down until you got all of them in a little bit and then go back and tighten. Same principle here, don't over tighten. You don't have to tighten the stew out of these things, just enough to get it set and then you're good. All right guys, that was the last of the primary mirror Allen keys there and uh, that's really it. Uh, that's all there is to it. It's a real simple procedure. Just make sure you've got the right tools, okay? Take your time, if it's your first time doing it, take your time doing it. Make sure you put the tape on, just follow the step-by-step -step procedure and you'll be good to go. Um, you should test it, of course, collimate it, test it, but I assure you, um, if you follow the steps I demonstrated here, you should see a drastic improvement in the star shape and any weird diffraction spikes that may have been prevalent before you did this procedure. If you enjoyed the video, felt like you got something out of it, guys, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And until next time, clear skies.